Traffic cones create a necessary diversion. They keep drivers away from dangerous situations. But sending workers out onto the highway to set up those cones can be a perilous job. Now there's an automated machine that both dispenses and collects cones to keep everyone out of harm's way. The automated traffic cone dispenser goes where some might fear to tread, the middle of the highway. Its robotic arm swings back and forth for a speedy deployment of traffic cones. To make one, workers slide three big metal discs onto a shaft and space them evenly apart. They pull a string from disc to disc to confirm that all three are aligned. Once they're in place, a worker welds the discs to the shaft. They reinforce this installation job with several braces, welding five to each disc at the point where it meets the shaft. They spin the shaft and inspect the work. Next, they install the tracks that will shuttle the traffic cones to the robotic arm. They weld 13 of them to the discs. The framework for the automatic traffic cone dispenser is now complete, so it's over to the paint booth. They prime and paint it bright yellow, so it will be clearly visible on the highway. Here, a technician then assembles the main control panel. It's the brains behind the cone dispensing robot. The technician connects cables that deliver power to the motors. He installs a series of switches and relays that will activate the motors that rotate the drum, swing the robotic arm, and deliver the traffic cones. Finally, he tests the circuit breakers to confirm that all systems are go. Down the production line, this worker attaches the gripper to the arm. A pivot bolt allows the gripper to open and close. And this chain will keep it pointed downward, so it's always in position to deploy a traffic cone. He tightens the turnbuckles and then checks the chain's tension. He swings the arm to confirm that it and the gripper move freely. Now he installs the transmission for the motor that will move this robotic arm. Finally, he snaps a retainer ring onto the transmission shaft. Two workers then carry a heavy extender mechanism over to the gripper arm and bolt the mechanism to it. This extender will both support the arm and allow it to move easily from one side of the dispenser to the other. A sensor device called an encoder will keep track of the gripper arm's position when it's moving. The technician then installs the motor that will power the gripper arm to oscillate and deploy the traffic cones. Once the gripper arm has been attached to the cone dispenser, they mount the whole unit on a trailer with the main control box on the front. They adjust the settings for traffic cone deployment and put the machine through all its paces. This test run ensures that all the parts are functioning properly. A technician tweaks the machine's computer program to fine-tune the drop-off coordinates. After all, releasing the cones too soon could cause them to topple. Every automatic cone dispenser undergoes a road test on the open highway to confirm that it will perform in real conditions. The driver activates it from the safety of the truck cab while the robotic system is at center line doing all the lifting and taking all the risks. If they find a problem now, they'll send it back to the factory for modifications, but this machine handles the drop-offs and pickups with precision.
And that means it's ready for traffic duty. 